Bro, I was preparing for him for seven weeks already, man. I've been preparing for the South Pole for seven weeks. And then I get the call that uh, Lubin outpriced himself and this and that. Well, what am I supposed to do? You know? And then they call me the next day and say, Keith Thurman, Team Mobile Arena, booked. I'm like, how good's this? It doesn't get any better, you know? Activity, momentum, that's, that, that builds up everything. Of course. Of course, he's, he's been, I don't know what he's been doing, two years honeymoon probably, I don't know. Do you think a, a win over Thurman is going to entice, you know, Terrence Crawford uh, maybe to face you? Because I know that's been on your head list. Yeah, well, me, I, I respect Crawford. I think he's uh, one caliber of a fighter, but we were in negotiation to fight. Uh, but this, this fight came across first, and... Uh, uh, I think me and Crawford will definitely collide in the future for sure, 100%. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So what you just heard was the voice of undefeated junior middleweight world champion, Australian superstar boxer, who is the WBO junior middleweight world champion, the son of a legend, Tim Zhu, who is 24 wins, no loss, no draw, 17 wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. He confirms that he has been in negotiations to face off against undefeated three division world champion, two division undisputed world champion, and the reigning unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the number one pound for pound best fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford. 40 wins, no loss and no draw, 30 not, 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 36 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch army. So this just confirms what we already was hearing, right? Is that Terrence Crawford is interested in facing off against Tim Zhu, moving up to 154, petitioning the World Boxing Organization, better known as WBO for that title. We also got word today that the rematch for Terrence Bud Crawford and former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl and True Spence Jr. is not going to happen. They fought July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. Uh, Earl Spence shockingly was dominated in a one-sided affair that favored Terrence Crawford. He got dropped in the second round, twice in the seventh, then stopped in the ninth. After Errol Spence had come out six months later in January, the fight took place July. He came out in January, said he had cataract uh, injuries that hindered his vision, prevented him from being able to see. He also revealed that he had broken ribs that didn't allow him to spar and train properly uh, a month out from the fight. He also revealed he couldn't get the pain uh, injections in his side until a week before the fight was uh, approved. And he was dealing with the fact that he's not easy for him to make 150, 147 pounds. He wants to fight at 154. Terrence Crawford wasn't happy that Errol Spence revealed all of that. And he said, Terrence Crawford did. Um, I'm glad, you know, uh, this is over. I've heard it all, all these excuses from Errol Spence. I've heard enough. Um, I'm glad the fight is over. And, you know, I wish you well moving forward. Errol Spence, he wasn't happy with that. He responded, get out your emotions and let's run it back. Terrence Crawford don't want to run it back. And his team stated that they had interest in fighting Tim Zhu, moving up to 54 and becoming a four division champion, right? His his plan was Terrence Crawford from the very beginning after the Errol Spence fight was to chase down uh, now three-time junior middleweight world champion, former undisputed junior middleweight world champion, who was a close friend and training partner and stable mate of Errol Spence in Jamel Lions Only Charlo. Iron Man Charlo. Jamel Charlo is 35 wins now, two losses, one draw. Uh, 19 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach. Jamel Charlo got the opportunity to dare to be great, jump up two weight classes and challenge 
Saul Canelo Alvarez, the four division champion, the undisputed super middleweight at 168. He came up short, to say the very least. He had a lackluster performance. He got dropped in the seventh, then lost a unanimous decision. Terrence Crawford initially wanted to fight Jamel Charlo because of the storyline. Jamel Charlo's close friends with Errol Spence. Jamel Charlo's trained under two time well renowned future Hall of Fame trainer of the year. Derrick James, who trains Errol Spence. The storyline is it was everything was laid out in place. And then Jamel Charlo jumped up and he was supposed to fight Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo was Jamel Charlo's WBO mandatory. He was supposed to, they was already scheduled to fight in March. Jamel Charlo suffered a broken hand. The fight got postponed. Tim Zoo stayed active waiting for Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo still didn't want to take the fight. He got the opportunity with Canelo Alvarez. He left the Tim Zoo fight. The WBO stripped Jamel Charlo. And the rest is history. But it was supposed to be Jamal Charlo fighting Canelo Alvarez September 30th. But Jamal Charlo mentally and physically wasn't ready. He pulled out. He didn't think it was the right time. Jamel Charlo, they replaced Jamal with Jamel. Identical twin brothers. Completely different types of fighters. Some similarities, but they're different. Jamal is obviously bigger, slightly bigger. And so Jamel filled in. Instead of them putting David Benavidez in that position, they put Jam Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo lost. But if all went according to plan for Terrence Crawford, Jamel Charlo would have fought and beat Tim Zhu, or Tim Zhu would have beat Jamel Charlo. But, you know, the vested interest would be in Jamel Charlo beating Tim Zhu and fighting Jamel Charlo, the storyline, right? And Jamal Charlo or David Benavidez or whomever at 168 fight Canelo. Terrence Crawford beats Errol Spence, then fights Jamel Charlo. Becomes undisputed in three separate weight classes. Obviously, that went by the wayside because uh, Jamel Charlo now is stripped of his WBO title. He's stripped of the WBC title. And he's on the verge of being stripped of the IBF title. Right? So he's losing his titles like this. Right? And he just lost, so it don't have the same luster. But Terrence Crawford sees a path. He wanted to create history, become undisputed in three separate weight classes. He sees another path. He wants to get the fight with Canelo Alvarez. That's reported that Canelo Alvarez is now interested in obliging Terrence Crawford and giving him the fight in September now. At 168, Terrence Crawford wants the day to be great. And now it's said that Canelo Alvarez is interested. He got his attention. But Terrence Crawford is 36. He'll be 37 in September. But there's still a path for Terrence Crawford, right, to um, become undisputed in four separate weight classes, fighting and beating Tim Zhu, pick up the WBO title. Now, Tim Zhu is now, like Tim Zhu said, that they was in negotiations. Negotiations fell apart for whatever reason. And then they told him, you're going to fight Keith Thurman, right? Keith Thurman, 30 wins, one loss, no draws, former unified welterweight champion. They told Tim Zhu, now you're going to be fighting Keith Thurman. He didn't see that coming. Tim Zhu didn't, right? He wasn't aware that that was going to be on the table. He said they just popped up and said, you're going to fight Keith Thurman. So what happened with the negotiations with Terrence Crawford? Obviously, premier boxing champion, founding advisor Al Heyman in the PBC, their vested interest is Errol Spence. But Errol Spence had cataract surgery in January this month. Uh, uh, and now he can't, you know, um, participate according to these reports. And Terrence Crawford don't want to wait. So did they try to hold off on Terrence Crawford and Tim Zhu to try to give Errol Spence the best opportunity to get healthy and have his rematch? As they advised him not to even take the first fight with him? Possibly. Strong possibility, right? But now Terrence Crawford is in somewhat limbo. And uh, I personally now want to see Terrence Crawford go ahead and fight the newly crowned IBF welterweight world champion, Phenom, as I refer to him as, Jerome Boutinis. Jerome Boutinis is... Um, 
31 wins, no loss, no draw. 28 wins by way of knockout. 26 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm. He's Jerron Boutinis. Was Terrence Crawford mandatory? Terrence Crawford inherited Jerron Ennis as mandatory for the IBF as he was initially Errol Spence's mandatory challenger. Right? And Errol Spence chose the fight and waited for Terrence Crawford and they gave him that leeway. And he lost. And then when he lost, Terrence Crawford inherited Jerron Boutinis. So now I want to see Terrence Crawford fight Jerron Boutinis. Tim Zoo's not available. Jamel Charlo's not available. Keith Thurman ain't available. Errol Spence fight ain't happening. Canelo ain't, ha ain't happening until September. So what's the plan if you Terrence Crawford? Just to stay on the shelf, uh, bulk up, and use this time to, to bulk up to the, the Canelo Alvarez fight in September? I'm mean, gonna imagine if you, you take that time off and you don't fight. The last time you fought was July of 2023. You wait all the way to September and be 37 years of age, inactive, and bulk up, and then Canelo Alvarez say he's not taking the fight. I think that Terrence Crawford should either fight Jerron Boots in this. I would love to see that fight. They stripped Terrence Crawford the IBF title because he had the Earl Spence mandatory, so he couldn't fight Jerron in this. Now that's out the way. I'd like to see him fight Jerron in this. Who else is there for him to fight at this point in time? What else is he going to do? Unless, again, like I said, if they're planning for Terrence Crawford to still fight Jamel Chalo, Jamel Chalo is still the unified champion. He still holds the IBF and the WBA. Um, so Terrence Crawford fights Jamel Chalo at 154, picks up his belts. But then you still can't become undisputed because now the WBC, unless the WBC lifts to uh, Jamel Charles because they placed him as champion in recess. So unless they reactivate him and realign him as the WBC champion and Terrence Crawford fights Jamel Charlo next and then fights Tim Zhu, but you wait for Canelo Alvarez. You wait for Canelo Alvarez in September. So he ain't going to fight Jamel Charlo and then fight Tim Zhu and then fight Canelo Alvarez in September. That's not even possible. He will have to fight Jamel Charlo then fight Canelo at 168 after beat Canelo, then come back down to 54 and fight Tim Zhu to become like, so what's the plan? So let's see how this unfolds, but why did the Tim Zhu and Terrence Crawford negotiations fall through? How did Keith Thurman land in that position? That's the question. That's the question. Did Terrence Crawford quote unquote outprice himself? Because they said Erickson Lubin was supposed to fight Tim Zhu. He was in negotiations and he priced himself out. So did Terrence Crawford price himself out? How did this all come about is the question. Why? So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.